Children, we have already learned that, a computer works in three stages. To get the work done on a computer, you enter the raw data. Input Computer operates on this data. Processing And the desired result is obtained. Output to get the desired result from the computer, we key in instructions to the computer using different programming languages. There are some specific computer languages which are used to write programs. Some of the popular examples of programming languages are Python, C, C, Pascal, Java, and PHP, etc. Modern computers can follow the generalized set of operations, called, programs. In simple words, a program is a sequence of instructions, that specifies how to perform a computation. These programs help a computer to perform wide range of tasks. Let us learn about Python programming language, which is one of the most powerful, high-level programming languages. Introduction to Python Class 6 Computer Python is a simple programming language used to write codes for the computer programs. Python was created by Guido van Rossem at National Research Institute of Mathematics and Computer Science in Netherlands. The language was released in 1991. Python is a high level programming language. Some of the features which makes Python so popular are It is an easy-to-learn general-purpose programming language. It is a platform-independent programming language, which means, it can be used on any machine, and, in any operating system. It has a simple syntax. Python is case-sensitive language. It is an interpreted language. It is free to use and even free for commercial products. Python is a popular and easy to learn language. It can be used to build a website, develop games, program robots, perform scientific computations, develop artificial intelligence applications. Python can be easily installed on your computer. Type www.python.org slash download After downloading the Python distribution, all you need to do is, to execute it. Double click the downloaded installer software. Click on run, in the dialog box and the installation process starts. Keep following the instructions and keep clicking on next button, until you see the highlighted finish button. After you have installed Python, the idle screen looks like this. Just like any other application window, Python window has the components like title bar, menu bar, script area, and status bar. Title bar displays the name of the application and the document. Menu bar consists of various menus such as File, Edit, Shell, Debug, Options, Windows, and Help, with different options. Script area is a place where you type your code. The status bar tells you the current status of your cursor or control, on the window. After installing Python you are ready to work on it. You can work in Python in two ways. In interactive mode, and in script mode. Python programming in interactive mode. In the interactive mode of Python, the instructions are executed line by line, giving the output. In this mode, the commands are typed, next to the Python command prompt. For example, if you type 3 plus 6, it will give you the result, 9. To work in interactive mode, 
first open the Python idle. It will open the Python shell window, where you will see the Python prompt. Let us type some commands next to the Python prompt. You will notice that Python will immediately give the output. Note Interactive mode is beneficial for testing code, where you type the commands one at a time, and get the result, or error, immediately. Use of interpreter As we have discussed, the commands are executed line by line, in the interactive mode of Python. When you type a command next to the Python prompt, and press Enter key, the interpreter converts the command into machine language. After processing, the interpreter again converts the machine code, into human readable form. Output Using print function The print function is used to display, the output of any command on the screen. It can also be used to print the specified messages. For example, print, bracket open, in double quotes, hello world. Double quotes closed, bracket close. Will display, hello world. Python is case sensitive programming language. It means that Python differentiates between capital and small letters. For example, print, p capital, and print. P small are two different things for Python, where print is a valid command in Python. And print is just a word, and not a command. We can also pass more than one argument to the print function. In such a case, the arguments are separated by commas. Look at the example. To evaluate an arithmetic expression, it is not necessary to use print function. If we type an arithmetic expression at the Python prompt, and press Enter key, the interpreter automatically evaluates it, and shows the result. In this case, interpreter acts as a simple calculator. The basic Bodmer's rules are followed for performing calculations. See the example. Variables in Python If you need to store some food for future use, what will you require? Well, you will need a container to store the food. Similarly when you are working with the values in Python, you require some storage to hold values, for later use. Such storage locations are known as, variables. A variable can store only one data value at a time. When a new value is stored in a variable, its previous value gets overwritten. Values are assigned to variables using assignment operator, equal to. For example, the statement x equals 25, assigns the value 25, to the variable x. a equals 10, assigns the value 10, to the variable, a. For c equals a plus b, the numbers are added and the value is assigned to the variable, c. There are certain rules in Python which have to be followed to form valid variable names. A variable name must start with an alphabet, capital, or small, or an underscore. A variable name can consist of alphabets, digits, and underscore. No other character is allowed. A Python keyword cannot be used as a variable name. Examples of some valid variable names are class emp underscore code total salary min value age 1980 working in script mode interactive mode is preferred for small programs where only a few commands are to be executed 
This is because, the output in interactive mode is compressed between the statements, and may create confusion while writing long programs. A script is a program, that you type in Python. For writing lengthy programs in Python, script mode is used. Using this mode we can create, and edit Python programs. In this mode, we can save our file, so that it can be used later. The complete script is written in an editor, such as, Notepad in Windows. To create a module, or script, open Idle Python. Click on the file, New file in Idle Python shell. In a new window that opens, type the commands you want to save as programs. Click on the file, save, and save the file with the name, where.py, is the extension of Python file. After a Python program file is created, you can run the program. Open Idle Python shell. Click on File. Open click on Run. Run module. Or, press F5 key. It will execute all the commands you have stored, in a separate Python shell window. Data Types Whenever we need to write our personal information, we type our name, birth date, phone number, address, etc. Here, every piece of information you write is of specific type, such as your name is a string type, age is a numeric type, address is an alphanumeric type, and birth date is a date type. Similarly, in Python, one must specify in a program, what kind of values will be stored in a specific variable. In Python, data type represent the type of data stored in a variable. The data stored in memory can be of many types. Python has various standard data types based on the type of value. For example, a student's marks are stored as numeric values whereas his address, is stored as alphanumeric value. The basic data types in Python are int, integer, represents integral numbers. There are three types of integers in Python. Integer, long integer, and boolean, float, represent floating point values. The fractional part of floating point number may be zero as well. Example, 3.14, 18.0, etc. STR, string. A string data type represents a string of characters enclosed within quotation marks. Example in double quotes, hello. Input function. The input function is used to accept the value for a variable, from the user. To input integer, and float values, we can use int, or float, along with input. In Python, input function takes one string argument. This means that whatever value is being entered by the user will be taken as a string argument. Observe in the above program, when you add two numbers, you do not get the sum. Rather the numbers are joined together and are printed as a string. To work with the values provided by the user, Python provides a method discussed in next example.
Let us see a program to understand the use of input function. When you use int function, the values are converted into the integers, and are added. Features of print function The print function in Python, is used to print a message, or value on the output device. It converts the message, or an object, into a string before writing it on the screen. It can have multiple parameters. It supports multiple escape sequences to format the output. Example, backslash n. New line. Backslash d. Tab space. And backslash r. Carriage return. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel. And do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.